Hello, here on Public Spot, I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on refactoring the Aeroform modules. And today, I will be migrating my response set and implementation from CloudFront functions to policy resources that are native to CloudFront. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interest, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. So far, I have explored implementing security response headers on a CloudFront distribution using Lambda function and CloudFront function. Today, I'm going to simplify this further and make the entire infrastructure code native to the CloudFront resource. Around the same time that the CloudFront function was introduced, AWS also made the CloudFront response header policies available for use. As a quick review of what I have implemented as far as secure response headers are concerned, I've implemented strict transport security, cross content type options, cross site scripting protection, and referrer policy. To implement these security response headers using the native CloudFront policies, I will need to make the same changes inside my CDN resources. And so let me expand the CDN directory and then open my main.tf. And all the way to the end of this file, I'm going to create a new resource block for the CloudFront response headers policy resource. I'm going to set the basic name and comment properties on this resource. I'm also going to add the security headers config block. Inside this block will be the different security response headers that I would like to be set by my CloudFront resource. To set the strict transport security response header, this is what I will add inside this block. To reflect the same configuration that I use inside my Lambda function and my CloudFront function, I will set properties starting with the access control max age in seconds. And then I will set the include subdomains property to true. And also set the preload property to true. There is also an override property, which I will set to false. What this means is that if this security header is set on the origin, CloudFront is not going to override the setting. This is also to ensure that CloudFront respects the setting that is defined on the origin level. Now on to the next security response header. The next security response header in my list is the cross content type options. This block is as straightforward as declaring this block. And because I don't want to override the setting that is potentially defined in the origin, I will set the override property inside this block and set it to false. The next response header that I need to set is a cross-site scripting protection. This block has properties that are called protection and mode block, which I will both set to true. And like the other response headers that I've defined so far, 
I will set the override property to false to respect the settings passed by the origin. And last but not the least, the referrer policy response header. This block has a property called referrer policy, which I will set to same origin. And I'm also going to set the override property to false. And that's all I need to set my response header policy resource. And now I need to attach this to my CloudFront distribution resource. So let me head to that block. And then on the cache behavior block, I will add a new response header policy ID property and point this to the CloudFront response headers policy ID. What this means is I can now get rid of the function association that's defined inside this block. And also delete the CloudFront function resource block. And because I'm no longer using the Lambda function, I can get rid of all the related resources that I've created to set this up. I also have some data references that I've defined inside my data.tf, which also needs to be cleaned. And now I'm all set to update my infrastructure. So let me head to my VS Code terminal. I will first export my TF workspace environment variable, which I use to differentiate my Terraform workspaces. And then I will set my AWS credentials on this session using AWS Vault. I'm going to navigate to the Telegram directory and then run Telegram run all apply to update my infrastructure stack. Now that my infrastructure stack is updated, let me switch to my browser, then open my developer tools. and make sure that the network tab is enabled. And then I'm going to start accessing sonar.publishspot.nl. And then if I scroll to the top of this list and select the first entry, and then scroll to the section on the response headers, and my security response headers are still intact. And that's all I have for today. Stay tuned as I continue to explore ways of refactoring my Terraform modules. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.